Hello friends! Today I have a surprise unboxing and the surprise is on me because I forgot that I had ordered this and I got a notification that I had something in the mail and I thought it was going to be a paint by number from Paint Plot. And then when this Mayan diamond painting came out, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. Okay, so the box got major squished, but the diamond painting only got a little bit squished on the end. So that's good. Not right in the middle. And the kits survived. Oh, this is what I love about Mayan. Mayan's kits are awesome. They come with a whole bunch of baggies, but they also come with these labels. So you can label up your baggies very easily. They also come with some nice tweezers. I mean, they're nice. Um, nice if you need them for your diamond painting. <laughs> You're not going to be pulling out any uh, splinters with those tweezers. Um, but anyways, two kits for this guy. I got this as part of project of the month for, what would this be? This would be for May. All right, so for those of you who follow Rose's channel, um, project of the month for May was Grumpy Cat, but it was no longer available to purchase. So instead, I decided to get my own Grumpy Cat. So this is Grumpy Coffee Cat. Uh, let me just flatten out. So this is a full drill and it is, I forget if it's round or square. It is square. And I do like Mayan. I've ordered several from Mayan, but you know, to be honest, I can't remember if I've actually completed any of them, but I do really like their images and I've heard that they're really good quality. So um, I don't remember if I've actually finished any. All right, so I have almost the whole cat in view. I think you didn't get the picture here, the picture. Um, he <laughs> does look pretty grumpy. He'll probably feel a little bit better after he gets his coffee. <laughs> And uh, I just, he's so cute. Look, he's got one eye, he's kind of going, I just woke up. I love coffee, I love cats. You just can't beat this one. They have several um, that must be from the same artist because they look very similar with a really bold colored background and then a cat in the middle with some sort of personality. So um, if you don't like this one, there are other options to order. Let's get down close and have a look at everything. All right, so there are 27 colors in this one. Um, and we have some numbers and letters, but it looks like they've kind of um, skipped over a few so that we don't have anything that's too confusing. Like S, is there a five? But they're very different colors. Um, so yeah, it's funny. So number in the camera that looks like a number two in my eyeball it looks like a number z but on the uh, letter z but on the canvas it's very clear so if we look at the canvas this is pretty clear printing um i think it will be fine yeah it looks good to me Like the, th the number threes are not super, super clear, but they're clear enough when I look at them with my eyes that I don't think you're gonna have a problem. There's a lot of multi-placing in this one. So there's not too much confetti. Most of the cat is multi-placing or multi-placing in chunks, like these threes, for example. Um, and then there is a very small amount of confetti on kitty cat's head. Uh, but this is going to be really nice. I think it'll go kind of quickly because we'll be able to use the multi-placer a lot. And there I go again saying we when it's going to be me doing this. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the drills. 
So this one does come with an inventory sheet for people who like to have an inventory sheet. I don't really care. Uh, I've never had a problem running out of drills or missing a color. Maybe I'm just really lucky and I should count my blessings, but... <laughs> All right, let's have a look. And these ones are already in baggies, so we won't even need to use the baggies that come with the kit. These are just gonna go into my stash. So we'll just look at the colors. Um, there's a lot of this one. This is one of the background colors. Um, wonder what the other big background colors are. That's, oh, this is um, the cat's body, and that is a 939. So there's a lot of that one. And there's a lot of this one, number 12, which is also a background color. So these are gonna be the main two colors in the background. And then what's the other background color? 10, this is the other, here we go. So that's really cool. That is gonna be super bright. Um, love that. These drills look to be pretty good quality. I don't see any problems just from looking at them. They don't look tabby. Let's zoom in. So they don't look tabby or concave or funny looking. They look pretty good to me. So as long as they are the right size, then we're good. And then this is the one in the cat. These ones look maybe, hmm. The bottoms don't look like super sharp squares. They look just a tiny bit rounded off, some of them. So we'll see how that goes with that color. Okay, and then we have some other dark colors that are gonna go in, I'm assuming, the cat, including, are these three tens? No, there's no three tens in this picture. So I know everybody, and I agree, three tens, they can sometimes be irritating. <laughs> It's such a boring color, black. Look at these awesome colors. Look at this number 14. This is 775, and it's just such a pretty, light, bluish, greenish color. I just love it. The, this is gonna be a fantastic picture. Let's see where that number 14 goes. That is the letter F. Oh, that's in the coffee cup. So here's the color for the coffee cup. Very nice. I am gonna really enjoy this picture. I'm looking forward to project of the month. I'm looking forward to project of the month for all of the months, but now I'm really excited about this one. I think this one is gonna be just a real joy to do because, um, because of my love for cats mostly. <laughs> So this is going to be number, where are we? Number 61 in my inventory. And I have, for the most part, not been buying very many diamond paintings lately because I do have a whole lot in my inventory that still need to be done. And what I've been doing is buying a lot of <laughs> paint by numbers because I'm working on getting my paint by numbers stock up. Um, the nice thing about having a stash of unfinished projects is you can shop your stash. So since these take, you know, around a month to get here usually from China, sometimes by the time you get to a project, you're not, or when it, by the time it's delivered, you might not be too keen on doing it. But when you have a stash, you can then go into your stash and decide what it is you want to work on. Like one day you might be really keen on trains and you go buy a bunch of 
diamond paintings of trains and then it gets to you and you're like, what the heck, I hate trains. <laughs> Why do I have trains or horses? Um, so this way, if you have a little bit of a stash, you can shop your stash. Now, I know stashes can get out of control, absolutely. Um, you have to work within your budget, obviously, and figure out what works for you, but I think it's nice to have a stash for that reason. Um, what did I say, number 61? I'm just gonna write it on here. Grumpy Cat. And this one is not gonna go in the penny pick because it's going to be the project of the month for me. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's gonna be fun. All right, thank you so much for watching. It's always fun to get a surprise delivery in the mail. Uh, nothing wrong with that. FedEx, you can send me deliveries any day you want. <laughs> All right, have a great day. Bye.